Hi friends, I'm overwhelmed today with the spirit of joy. Listen, we had an awesome time today in the word of the Lord. We was talking about playing your positions. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse number 15 through 21, 22, Paul was praying in what we call an intercessory prayer. He says, I'm praying that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. He's talking about the truth that you may know the hope, and I'm paraphrasing, the hope of his calling. That word hope is a word that means expectation, that you may know Christ's expectation. That word calling is invitation, where you're being invited. I've been invited to some places before as a guest. And when I went, there was a certain location that I had to go to to honor the invitation. But then in that particular place, they had a seat set aside for me. And did you know the Bible says he's been given a place of, of authority far above. He didn't say above. It says, friend, he says far above any principalities, power, might, or dominion. And you say, well, how, what does that mean for me? Well, as believers, it means that he, over in Ephesians chapter 2, verse number 6, he says, we've been all joined together, and I'm paraphrasing, with Christ in this place, that Christ is the head, and we are the body. And he's taken all of these things, principalities, powers, might, and dominion, he's placed it under his feet. Not under Christ's feet, because he says Christ is the head of the church, but under the feet of the church. That feet of the church where we are many members, but one body, one body, one spirit. Friends, if you can see him in authority, Christ is the one who reigns in authority. He is absolutely king, and he's king of kings and lord of lords. So if that means that when God raised him up, he says he's quickened us together. He wrought this in Christ with me. He activated this thing through Christ Jesus so that all of us now are partakers of this power and authority. So that means to me and to you, friends, those who are believers, that sickness, poverty, and spiritual death, doubt, uh, unbelief, and uh, all matter of depression and oppression, all of these things are under our feet. From Pastor Buzzard to you, I'm telling you, we are seated with Christ. We don't have to pray to a God that's way out up in space somewhere. No, we pray to a God that's king. Until I see you again, remember, Jesus is Lord.